It's time. Yes, already. It's time to harvest potatoes. Potatoes typically take between 70 and 100 days to mature and provide a harvest. When my potato plants started dying back last week, my initial thought was, oh man, what is going on with my potatoes? Something horrible is going on. When potatoes are ready to harvest, the plants will die back. But I didn't think it was time yet. I had to go back and look at my other video to know when I planted these, and it has been more than 70 days. So these plants, they're just ready to harvest. There's nothing wrong with them. This patch of potatoes next to the greenhouse, these are all the red potatoes. If you remember from the video, the planting video, each of these fabric pots got two potato seeds, two seed potatoes. So we're gonna see how many potatoes we get out of each pot that only started with two small seed potatoes. So let's dump them out and sort through them. Wow, look at that, nice. These little tiny ones, I'll probably save and see if I can make seeds out of those. Hey Luke, can you bring over the harvesting basket? Thanks buddy. That first bag, the first two seed potatoes, gave us five potatoes. I'm trying to be careful not to miss those tiny ones because they could turn into a seed potato that will grow a whole new plant. Look at how many worms I'm finding. This was the very aged compost soil that came out of a big pile I had and there are just loads of worms in the soil. Some of those are nice. So that's all nine bags harvested. So let's just count these to see how many we got. Two, three, four, five, six, 38, 40, 45 potatoes and seventeen and twenty one potentially twenty one seeds i don't know exactly how these babies are going to work out for seed potatoes but i figure it's worth a shot so that is the red potatoes from this patch let's go get three more bags from the patch along the fence line now I already harvested two of the five that were along the fence line of the red potatoes because they had died back and I didn't want them to sit too long in the in the soil before taking them out and harvesting them but this is the different seed potato they're still red potatoes but they came from a different package. So we got three potatoes out of that one. Now 
That one looks like a pear. And we got four out of that one. Overall, it looks like our red potato harvest was not bad for this year in the fabric pots. The blue potatoes and the Yukon Gold, I'm going to let those go for another week or so and we'll do another video showing those being harvested. Let's talk about the two things that I have here left over from harvesting the potatoes. One are a few potato plants. Um, many people will recommend that you do not compost these. You don't use them as a mulch layer because potatoes and tomatoes are plants that um, they could have a blight on them. It's a, a virus. I think it's a virus, maybe a bacteria. But anyway, it'll compost down and you could be damaging your next season of potatoes. Um, I have composted some in the past without any issue, but it's generally recommended that you do not compost these. So you'll just throw them out, um, you know, just throw them out against the fence line or wrap them up, put them in the trash and, and uh, let someone take those off. The other resource that I have is this beautiful soil. This, this is amazing, beautiful soil with lots of worms, lots of compost. It's nice and crumbly. Again, uh, you can use this in your garden, but you most likely or highly recommended would not use this soil for tomatoes or potatoes. Why would I choose to grow and eat potatoes from my own garden? Well, one is I know exactly where it's been. I don't have to worry about chemicals being sprayed on it. And if you have ever eaten a fresh potato compared to a store-bought potato, you know the flavor is so much better. These will have such a, a rich potato flavor that you just can't get most of the time when you buy them in the stores. Luke, looks like we're gonna eat potatoes tonight. You ready for that? Okay. Thank you so much for joining me in the Daddy Curbs Garden. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Harvesting Potatoes. I truly enjoy you being here with me. Thank you for sharing your love in the comments below. I'll talk to you soon. Let's go, bud. Those are some of the noises I have to deal with when I'm trying to create these videos. That's really annoying when you're editing.